It's really about bringing the SPPS Achieves initiative to life in the school, customized for the individual building. So we have a district goal, but we're gonna make it uh, unique to this particular building. I'm actually at two sites, Gordon Parks and Leap, so the way that SPPS Achieve looks at each site is completely different, and yet we're all sending the same message to our families and our students. In addition to providing professional development to small groups or large groups of teachers, one of the roles of the learning lead is to provide cognitive coaching to teachers. And this is different than traditional professional development where we give a strategy and then that strategy is in a binder and it sits on a shelf after one use and it may or may not be used again. We're attempting to ask teachers questions, to be reflective about their practice, to think about is their lesson culturally relevant? Are they providing some positive behavior interventions? If we can teach teachers to be reflective, that has a greater impact on what the teacher does for the rest of their school year and the rest of their teaching career. We have uh, multiple wonderful teachers at Mississippi and throughout St. Paul, and having an opportunity to continue to reflect on our practices allows us to be better educators. My job is to really focus around culturally relevant instruction, also PBIS, and how to really promote a positive school culture in our building. And so for me, it's collaborating with the teachers, it's working with students, it's co-teaching with teachers, it's attending PLCs with teachers, it's looking at student data and using what that data to guide instruction, in but really having that culturally relevant lens when we go through that process. As teachers, we come together so that we can provide spaces for our students to be themselves because that's when they learn at their very best. And collaborating can really make a strong, positive impact on our student achievement. If our students are able to come to school and show up as their authentic selves, they are going to be learning at the best of their ability. Initially, I wasn't interested in becoming a learning lead. It was a new position. I read about it and I thought, wow, there's opportunities there that I can help teachers grow and, you know, bringing in the years of experience that I've had in the classroom to benefit all the teachers and all the students. We kind of have a phrase here where we have like the power of with. So rather than doing things for students or doing things to students, doing things for teachers, doing things to teachers. We're doing things with. Teachers are busy doing a thousand things at a time. And so my job really is to coordinate the professional development and how that relates to the SKIP plan and how our PLC works. In our leadership committee, we take a look at MCA data. We take a look at behavior data. We take a look at our fast screening and just teacher-generated assessments. And we can see where our challenges are and where our strengths are. And so we write our goals for our school based on achievement data of students. I think that it can change the, the culture in a building. I think when teachers know that they have an advocate and they have someone who has the expertise in teaching that they can come to and share and not worry about being evaluated, that I'm basically here as a tool to help them with what they need.